What's going on guys? I am back to the location I was at last week, seven days ago, where we found the chicken of the woods. I thought I'd do a quick follow-up on that, show you guys, you know, their growth uh, and what's going on with them. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, there's the first flush that we found last week. Now, this is starting to droop, and uh, it's only been seven days. Look, the bugs are coming off of it. You see all those gnats, and there's ants, and I think even see some slugs. There's a few worms, so this is extremely buggy. It's still moist, um, so it's really questionable whether I would harvest this or not. So I'm probably just going to leave it, but we might cut a little bit off here in a minute. Let's look down here. Yeah, here. These are these little guys that were popping off. You can see that? But look right here. We, it looks like it's grown around, and it absolutely has this little... Let me break that off. Let's get these out of here so we can see what's going on. Yeah, look at that. See how it grows? right around it it's actually kind of connected to it so <laughs> you can see look at that yep now that right there doesn't look too bad to be honest with you it's not that buggy um it actually looks pretty good so if i harvest anything it'll be that right there hey 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 look look right down there turkey tail that is exactly what that is, and I am going to harvest some of that for sure. I'm running out of it. So, very, that is a huge score. Awesome. Anyway, let's cut a little bit of this guy off and take a look at it. All right, let's see if I can get one of these upper pieces up here. Cut this loose right off the back. Oh, yeah, man, look at all the bugs coming off of it. Actually, uh, looking at that really doesn't look that bad. Um, kind of buggy, though, and it appears to have some little holes in it scattered throughout i don't know if you can see that or not right in there there i don't know questionable texture wise it actually feels pretty good it doesn't feel bad at all um i don't know maybe we'll harvest a little bit of this uh, and get it back to the house and really inspect it but you can see look that right there is slug damage the slugs will get in here and eat on that i'm not sure what that is but anyway let's harvest a few of these I'll tell you what I'm just gonna cut right around the outside of this right here I'll show you here in a second there you go just cutting out the outer margins not a lot definitely got some bugs on it though have to clean that up get back to the house yeah actually this doesn't seem to feel as bad as and look as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Look at that. Very pretty. Sweet. It's also, if you notice, it's a lot more orange underneath right here. This is where the sun hasn't hit, hit it. This is all faded out a little bit. But again, the texture of this actually feels okay. So let's cut out that outer margin. And that one actually broke a little bit. That's all right. I'll cut that off. There you go. Yeah. Sweet. I haven't had any chicken of the woods all season because, well, I told you I, I haven't spent as much time in the woods as I'd like to. That's all right, though. It's just one of those things, right? Let's take a few more of them. We got some more flushes to go look at. And and I don't want to take all of it anyway. Well, hopefully some of this will drop some spores and be good to go. Actually, if we look closely, these pores right here are just starting to open up. I don't know if you can see that, but right in there, I can definitely see with the naked eye that these are opening up. 
you know, the ideal thing is for them to be real tight, real tight. But I certainly can see some of those pores opening right up. I'm hoping this camera will pick up some of that. Might be able to see a little bit right in there. Right, excuse me, right in there, maybe. Awesome. Cool. I'm definitely going to harvest these right here. So let's get in here and we'll cut that loose. I'm actually just going to take the whole thing off of here. See if I can get it off of the... There we go. There's one. And then we'll take this one too. Just cut, cut it right off. I've left plenty. Let's see if I can get it off of there. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. There's the stick. <laughs> engulfs everything around it. Yeah, you see the pores on that one? So they're starting to open, but that's okay. Still edible. Still the texture of it feels really good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean these guys up. Let's put this up here. Alright, let me get everything in the mushroom back. Alright. Upon further inspection, this is not turkey tail. Look at that. Very, very smooth underside. If it was turkey tail, it'd, it'd be a white polypore. It'd be all white. That is not all white. So, uh, it tricked me. From a distance, though, you know, right over there, it kind of looked like it. It really did look like it, to be honest with you. But that is not turkey tail. That ain't it. <laughs> well, that sucks. It's all right. Let's see if I can find some more. The good news is, is turkey tail is very prevalent. So anyway, let's go check those other flushes. Okay, check it out. Really little to no growth at all. I mean, it's definitely gotten a lot lighter, um, but no growth. Isn't that interesting. Let me get over here where we can see it. Now let's, I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this. I wanna see whether it's Cincinnatus or um or sulfurous so let me just cut a little bit all right let's see what we got I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the back end of this guy no it's the sulfurous yeah i think if you know if you take a look at this log i mean this log is just it is very punky very i mean it is just disintegrating there's not much for this to feed off of. And you typically don't find them on punky woods like this. You know, look, I don't know if that's some of the mycelium or not, but anyway, it's still cool nonetheless and learned a little bit. Find them on a punky log like this, chances are they're probably not going to flush out all the way or at least get too big. Let's go see what else we can find. Go. Cool. A nice flush of oyster mushrooms. Look at that. Yeah, they're popping out all over this guy. Sweet. Look how young some of these guys are. I mean, they're just starting. Look at that. Tiny. And they're everywhere. <laughs> Very cool. Definitely gonna harvest a few of these. Awesome. Very cool. You know, I was harvesting a few of these. And then right down here, look at this guy. And you usually don't see them like this, but that's exactly what that is. That's an oyster mushroom. And it's coming off of the off of this root. You know, that's running off into the ground right here. There's another one right there popping out. Very cool. Very cool though. I'm gonna cut these guys loose and look at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging it. Man, they, I mean, they go way up there. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Yeah, you usually don't see them like this where they're completely round. That almost looks like a mushroom that's, you know, popping up out of the ground. Uh, they're normally kind of shelf-like. Um, and you can see some of these are growing a little odd. They're, they're actually growing down, but they don't feel um, bad at all. They're not buggy or anything. I mean, there's obviously a few of them we don't want to mess with. You can see right here some of the earlier. But uh, with all this rain that we've had, look at there. I took, already took some off. Very nice. Very nice. So anyway, let me get these guys and let's go see what else we can find. Cool. All right, I thought I'd show you just real quick this one that's, uh, you know, looks just like a normal, for lack of better words, a normal mushroom, not a shelf-like mushroom. Um, and then we look right here, and it's it's actually two of them, but if I was to remove this guy right here, there we go. Look at that. That's something else. And notice how they go all the way down the stipe. There's really not much of a stipe. It's more of a nub, uh, which is an identifying, you know, feature of a of an oyster mushroom. The gills just run all the way down. Very cool. Sometimes you can't even see that. Sometimes it's just like, like that right there. Very cool, nonetheless. Awesome. How cool is that? Find a nice flush of oyster mushrooms, you know. Uh, I, and I don't really worry about lookalikes too much. Um, you know, angel wings, I think, are the only ones that really look like the oyster mushroom, in my opinion. Um, we know they weren't angel wings because it wasn't a conifer. Angel wings grow on conifers, and oyster mushrooms grow on the hardwood. So, anyway, let's get after them. Oh, we're getting close to that last little flush of chicken in the woods. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's big. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, how sad is that? <laughs> Something has definitely been munching on this. Or, let's see, let me get my glasses on. Nah, that's not human. I don't think anybody, not unless they just came in here and, you know, tore it off. Uh, in that case, they probably would have taken the whole thing. Um, this looks to be like an animal to me. I think an animal got in here and got this. Maybe a squirrel? I mean, we are on a log that's you know, high up off the ground, but who knows? Who knows what this is? Or why it's been munched on like that, but nothing left for me. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. What are you gonna do? All right. I'm trying to get down the mountain. I hear a storm coming, man. It's, it sounds like it is going to rain. I don't mind the water, but I just don't want to get my oyster mushrooms wet. <laughs> so, I'm trying to hurry up. Anyway, well, at least I found one, you know. I mean, we got a little bit of, of uh, chicken of the woods. So, that worked out. Uh, and even though at first glance, you know, it looked buggy. It looked like it was uh, on its way. And, and, and clearly it was. Uh, however, you know, the color of it, uh, where the sun had beat down on it, had definitely faded it. But once we took that top shelf off you could clearly see the orange uh, the texture of the mushroom was fantastic the pores had started to open but they weren't open all the way so there were some good things as far as that goes now I'm just gonna take it back to the house and check it uh, for worms that's primarily the thing I'm looking for all right so I made it back to the house I started inspecting the mushroom and after I cut into several slices it was really obvious this thing was way wormy uh, it's too much for my taste so uh, I decided to pass on it so there's no fine clean cook today but uh, you know it does uh, it's, it's a good learning experience I mean I uh, should have recognized and paid more attention up front when I first found it. Uh, you might remember those gnats or flies. They're kind of like fruit flies flying around the mushroom. Uh, that is the culprit. What they're doing is those little bugs are actually laying eggs in the mushroom. And then the larvae starts to feed actually on the mushroom itself. So... Uh, anyway, that's what we're looking at and uh, I should have known better. But anyway, hey, thanks for spending your time with me. Please don't forget to subscribe and slap that like button. I'll talk to you.